Before, we have talked about the point of view that everything is a matter of perspective and that everything is connected to everything. Now, we will think about the concept of dimensions, which is somehow similar. When you remind yourself of the system of fractals or the Fibonacci sequence, you will see that the very same patterns occur on infinite levels, or in our case, infinite dimensions. Those dimensions can be translated into personal states of being. There are many concepts of those states, like the concepts of chakras, the concept of the sephirot, the concept of alchemy, the seven hermetic laws, just to name a few. But besides that, everyone can also think of their own concept of states of being, or personal dimensions. As one of the easiest examples, think of a very first experience of something, whatever it is, as a first dimension. Time will pass and your synapses will grow more and more connections to various similar topics around those experiences. Emotions will help to expand this web further and further as time passes. And you will nearly have forgotten this exact experience, because over time, many other aspects have come into focus. One day, the same experience happens again, but it will never be like the first one. Even if it's nearly the very same experience, you will perceive it differently, because you are now living in another dimension. It's like having drawn a line and then drawing a cube. You will remember having drawn the line by drawing the cube, but it won't be the same. Emotionally, think about hearing music at a daily random or a very special event, or think about hearing it when you feel satisfied or finally relieved after an enormous period of stress or anxiety. The same music can sound totally 